Hello everyone, I'm your host Brian Stark and I'm going to give you a tour of how to get started. The first thing that we'll do is verify our user settings. In the upper right hand corner we'll choose My Settings. Here you'll see the items that you initially selected when first starting your organization. Now we can make changes if something's wrong. It's important to get this correct first because the reports and some of the entry fields will be based on like the unit system or the time zone. So uh, it's very important to get this correct and to move on to the next step. Next, complete your profile. As you can see, most of the information is missing here. So take the time to fill in the address, phone numbers, and so forth for your farm because as you fill this in, it's actually going to create less work for you down the road using the marketplace and other areas of the software. Or maybe you have Farmer Pro and you need to unlock the free software modules which are included with Farmer Pro such as crop health imagery, um, work orders, or maybe soil sampling. To add people, go to Manage and choose Add Contact. Here we can add first name, last name, job title, and email. The very important button here to point out is System Access. So for each one of your employees, you can grant them access into Trimble Ag software so they could add records or view things. But you can limit the restrictions here by saying maybe this person doesn't need the financial part of the software or we don't want that person to add operators or have admin privileges or perhaps this person needs only limited web access with no mobile app it's really up to you what privileges you want set for each person but this is exactly where you do it uh, the other thing to point out is partnerships and as you can see we don't have a partner set up yet an example of a partner would be our crop advisor who's using advisor prime so advisor prime is our software system that's multi-client level uh, allows you to create variable rate prescriptions and management zones and so by linking the partnership here um, you can actually have that uh, person send you that information automatically right into your software so those prescriptions and management zones would flow right into your software system by setting up the partnership to add equipment go to add vehicle here you can add a name manufacturer, vehicle type, equipment group, and unit cost. Down below is especially important for those who want to use AutoSync. So AutoSync allows you to automatically transfer guidance lines, field names, boundaries between all your Trimble displays and software. But to do that you must purchase a display connection. And if you've done that step this is where you hit the little plus button and you can add your device serial number here which is the first step of getting things going. So again, AutoSync works with triple displays using the Precision IQ app. Adding inputs and materials is easy. On the very top, you have fertilizer, seeds, tank mixes, chemicals, and so forth. Uh, in this example, we'll choose Add Chemical. Now the time saver here is this chemical search button so in our example we want to add Roundup now by adding Roundup the programs automatically going to search for everything named Roundup uh, because we've got this complete database uh, built into the software now you can also search by manufacturer bottom line here is if you have anything that's remotely close go ahead and click on it because it's always easy to change things here so you still have some information to fill in like your active ingredient purchase units unit cost but a lot of this information to be filled in automatically. Finally, we'll touch on commodities. As you can see, we have two already set up when we first started the software program, but we can easily add crops anytime by hitting the Add Crops button. So we have a list of uh, crops here to pick from, and we'll scroll down to the bottom here and choose Wheat and hit Save. Here we can choose a little Edit button and we can put a market value in for wheat. We'll say $5 per bushel. Now we can choose crop seasons. Now crop seasons, we have a few already set up for 2019, but we want to add one more for wheat. So we'll just choose the add crop season button. On the very top here, the year, we choose wheat as the crop. 
We can also have subcrops, so maybe red wheat or something like that we want to add as a subcrop. We could do that, but I want to keep it very simple here to start with and just call it wheat. Um, start date, end date, and our default yield potential. So for this here, we'll say we are hoping to get uh, 95 bushels per acre. And hit save. Hope you enjoyed watching our video. In the meantime, keep farming.